Greetings, Thingy1118. I've got a sounder hooked up. Um, what I got here is the Apollo Multi Tone Open Area Sounder Beacon. Now, the interesting thing is, um, some of you more or less correctly pointed out that the um, Apollo XP95 detector is actually a discovery detector. Um, whether it's actually the same exact protocol under the hood, but with some extra uh, attributes on the data, is debatable. It appears the underlying protocol is more or less the same, but there's extra features. But um, the bit that's interesting is whether the actual um, data protocol is, uh, is identical, regardless of what features the panel or the device supports. Um, if the um, the underlying protocol is the same, which it does appear to be, um, but that is discovery um, detector because it's sending data, uh, uh, the additional data um, that's supported by discovery devices. But this uh, sounder beacon here is, um, if I read this directly from the paperwork here, um, it clearly says here discovery or XP95 protocol. Right, connected to control panels which use the discovery or the XP95 protocol. Now that would imply they're separate protocols, but that also implies this sounder beacon supports both protocols. Um, which kind of implies that it's just receiving a command and really all it's receiving is XP95 basic commands. Um, so the discovery part is probably somewhat irre irrelevant because it's not receiving any extra data um, so that's probably why it works on both um, although the discovery may allow it to be auto provisioned easier perhaps anyway this sounder beacon is not discovery and it's not xp95 it supports either of the two discovery or xp95 so i cannot say this um, sound beacon is a xp95 beacon and i can't say it's discovery beacon because it supports both so take it what you will, <laughs> call it what you want. But that uh, detector is a discovery detector by product line, um, but the underlying protocol is more or less XP95, but it's got extra extra features and stuff, so that's why it's discovery. Um, it, that, that would be sending extra data. Let's test out this sounder beacon. Um, so that means it produces audible sound and flashing lights. Now silenced. Now what I want to do ideally is have audible silence so that the flashing beacon continues um, but the sound just stops. Uh, it looks like I can't do that. Um, I haven't found a way to do that yet but what I can do is get a separate beacon and have that as a non silenceable device. Um, standalone beacon as a non silenceable device. So that's one way to do it. Uh, which I might do that. Um, otherwise, I might be able to find a way in um, in the software side to to have the beacon continue going, but that might not, might not be possible given that it's one address. So let's reset the panel. Let's silence the buzzer to acknowledge the uh, battery fault. So thanks for watching.